What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, it's Saturday. I was thinking of something to do for a video. Uh, I kind of thought about it too late. I've been working on this McCulloch D6 or D36 all day. So uh, I'm going to talk about it a little bit, tell you what I've done, and um, stay tuned. Alright guys, so if you're just joining us, uh, you should know that I am into uh, basically restoring stuff, um, saving old things, uh, I like old iron, um, I like old tools, I like old power saws. So this, uh, this Mac D36, uh, I got it from a guy on Facebook, the same guy that I got the uh, XL12s from, hold on. So I got the dual matching set of XL12s. This one's got a brand new bar on it. Uh, got a ProLite 20 inch on this full chisel chain. So I really like old saws, old tools, everything in general. So let's get down to the D36. So I figure that I have about $40 in this saw uh, to include the bar and everything. Um, I, I got it on a, a, a deal with multiple saws. Got an old Montgomery Ward saw as well. Um, this is a D36. This doesn't have the oiler uh, recall done on it. So what's really goofy about this saw is you mix the oil 10 to 1. 10 to 1 is a lot. So even with a gallon, I think I mixed like something, whatever it equates to, it's a lot. It's like 10 ounces or 12 ounces of, of uh, it was more than half a quart of oil for a gallon so the 10 to 1 ratio is crazy the reason why it needs 10 to 1 is it scavenges the oil for the bar from the motor oil which is beyond crazy to me i don't know engineers in the 50s were definitely uh, way ahead of their time now did it work yeah I, it went back for a factory recall because it wasn't working all that great this it works on this saw so it's awesome uh, whoever owned it at that time probably didn't think that it needed to go back for the factory recall and it was never done so of course it's got the uh, recoil start on the top of the saw earlier I rebuilt that I wish I would have thought about this idea for the video to go over the saw um, earlier when I was doing it but nonetheless um, you know that's how it goes so it had an old McCulloch bar on it It had an old McCulloch bar on it, uh, well used. It looks galvanized to me. If you ask me, it looks galvanized. Um, crazy thing was, is that this is a 404 pitch chain um, and the gauge on it, the gauge on this bar is uh, 0.05. So with a 0.05 bar and uh, 404 chain, they don't make that stuff anymore. It's obsolete. So this saw being from 1958, I think they made it from uh, April 1958 to like May 1959. Uh, so they made it for roughly a year and that 404 chain is basically obsolete. Uh, forums and stuff like that say that you can get them, it's possible, but uh, I went ahead and I went to a power saw shop close by uh, and the guy had an old 404 bar on the shelf. So he said, I'm not going to, I'm never going to use this 28 inch 404 bar. Uh, he had a chain hanging on it too, sold it to me for 20 bucks. So I've got about $20 in the saw and $20 in the bar and chain. Um, I just cleaned up the chain. I had to modify the bar a little bit for the oiler and the mount here on this Mac, but it turned out pretty sweet. So I'm really stoked about it. Um, really didn't take a lot to get it running. I had to rebuild the the recoil uh, If you're looking at any information on this saw uh, If you have an original one uh, It has a 404 sprocket on it 3 8 will not work um, I we, we tried it at the shop. It will not pull a 3 8 uh, So stick with the 404 and just get a different bar uh, I notched it out a little bit if anybody finds this video in the future is trying to do some research on this D36, then uh, by all means reach out to me and uh, we'll make another video or something on exactly what I did to modify it. 
uh, it, you really just need to notch it out so that the oil can get up in the bar. Uh, really simple. I went with a roller tip on this. Um, I mean, I didn't have much choice. I had the roller tip. It has a grease spot in it so you can grease it. Um, I really like that with the amount of oil that's going to come out of this thing, you know, at the 10 to 1 ratio and it scavenging it from the motor oil or sorry, the fuel. Uh, I, I didn't think that it was going to oil that well. It seems to oil decently. Um, it definitely needs a, a little bit more, but I think that's as best as it's going to get. I'm not going to run this all, all the time. It was literally just kind of a wall hanger. Maybe I'll get it out once a year and run it. Um, at the end of the video, I'll throw in some, some, uh, uh, footage of me running it. It definitely smokes like crazy because it's 10 to one. Uh, it, it, it's not really, it's a, it's a fog machine. Some people call them a mosquito fogger, uh, or whatever. So a really fun saw to run. It's heavy. I think with this bar on here, it's like 22 pounds. So it's a very heavy old cast iron saw, but nonetheless, 80 cc's and it's fun to run. Um, these are not built to be screamers. They're low and slow. And this thing definitely, uh, it doesn't even, it doesn't even bog down in the wood. It just stays steady. Um, the RPM slow down and it just goes. So I think they're really cool. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, just a short video about what I was working on today. Uh, the old Mac D36. Uh, Saul's pretty cool. Uh, by now I've probably rolled in some little footage of, of the bar and, and the saw. I don't know what else to say about it. If you guys are interested, uh, if you have a D36, reach out to me. Uh, we'll talk about it. I have stuff to learn. You guys have stuff to learn. Uh, you know, I need to make some dogs for it. The dogs, the only thing I don't like about this design is the dogs aren't mounted to the saw. They're mounted to the side plate. So, I mean, it's a reinforced side plate. It looks really good. I can't wait to make just some gnarly dogs on here, some big just aggressive dogs, maybe four teeth, one sticking up like this, one here, and then one down, you know, on the bottom. Should look pretty sweet. So I'm going to make some big dogs for it, make it look really aggressive. So when I hang it on the wall, I'm like, yeah, you better watch out. It's really not that big of a deal to run. Um, it's not really a handful. It's kind of a goofy design. And, uh, you know, it runs. It's sweet. Yeah. I don't think I have anything else to say about it. So this is one of those saws that does not have an oiler. So you've got to be you've got to be careful that it, the system is running as it should and extracting it from the fuel and oiling the bar. If you see it heating up, you need to stop and figure it out or uh, clean out the passageway. It's just one of those things. Uh, it doesn't have a manual oiler or anything like that. So pretty awesome setup. I got about 40 bucks in it. I'm pretty excited. Uh, it's a heck of a wall hanger for 40 bucks. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, it's a little out of the ordinary from what I'm usually doing, but I figured I'd show you what I'm, I've been working on today and, uh, you know, just keep you in the loop of everything going on around here at the Durbin compound. So as always, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. Uh, I have... It's that season for power saws, so you know if you're a longtime subscriber, you'll see power saws and then some of my other content that I'm doing. Um, just keep all of my hobbies. But uh, as always, we'll see you guys in the next video.